Hey everybody. So me and my uh, trusty sidekick Copper the Wonder Dog here. We're gonna just do a kind of quick video on tomatoes, the uh, different types of varieties, and really tomato pruning since I happen to have one of one of my plants left that hasn't gone in the garden yet. So it might find a home somewhere, but um, first thing you should probably know about tomatoes is what type of variety you have. There's two types. There's determinate and indeterminate. Now, determinate, think of it like a bush. It has a set amount of fruit, it has a set amount of leaves built into the tomato plant, and once that's done, it's going to be done. Now, indeterminate is kind of like this early girl tomato plant here. They will, in theory, continue growing uh, until the winter, winter kills them. So, what we want to do is kind of prune them and give them the best chance. Now, first, what I like to do on a tomato plant, I kind of call it cut, cutting a high skirt on it. I don't like to put a whole lot near the ground because tomatoes are actually pretty susceptible to different fungal diseases and whatnot, and having rain hit the dirt and the dirt splash up on the leaves is not usually good, good for the plant. So I actually like to cut some of this lower stuff and when I actually plant these, and I'll show you a picture uh, at the end of this, I actually bury a good amount of it. Because if you see all these little hairs on the side of the tomato plant, if you bury those in, in the ground, those will become roots. I actually did an experiment on what's called a sucker here. Uh, and I actually just buried it in a pot of dirt in it, and I ended up having to take it out because I was uh, tearing the greenhouse down. But it actually, on the end, started growing roots. And that gets us kind of to the next point, and this will lead into another video we'll do on the different types of trellising, but pruning these tomatoes, you know, this is an early girl variety. I found it goes pretty good around here. This, just to give you a little better shot, right here is a sucker. So you have the main, main branch, side branch and then you have this basically an entire another tomato plant come coming out of the I call it the armpit of the tomato now what this is going to do it's basically going to be another tomato plant and you might be thinking hey one plant I get four or five plants great right more fruit everything but what's going to happen is this is going to put so much demand you got to remember, you only have one root system. You only have one root system to support everything up here. Now, you could end up with a lot more green fruit, but getting it to ripen by the end of the year might be more of a challenge. So all of these suckers, and that's all it looks like. And that's what I actually let one go grow a lot bigger than this and bury it, and it actually started growing roots. We're just gonna we're gonna cut all of those out of here. Now a lot of times when they're they're smaller, the leaves are kind of get, getting in the way, but when they're smaller like this, just take your uh, thumb and forefinger and just pinch them off. And we're just going to kind of keep following this all through the year because this is going to keep doing it. Now I don't really like to prune up at this top section because it kind of gets a little confusing about what's the main trunk and what's a sucker. And we don't want to cut the main growth point off. Now we will cut that growth point off when we get towards like uh, end of August. And what that's going to signal to the plant is like, hey, your season's done, start producing fruit. And it's going to ripen up all the fruit it has. Now, and you can see we already got flowers that are getting ready to set. So this would actually be a good one to put in the ground. And I would actually cut these two lower branches. Cut those two lower branches off, bury this about another six inches in the ground just going to build a bigger more robust root system to help support this and then our next video we're going to talk to you about trellising because these indeterminate varieties will grow as tall as you can trellis them essentially and as long as your season will allow so come on back stick around as we keep gardening here in Enumclaw